Good morning and welcome to the cabin. Today we're going to take a drive over and find that new Amish quilt shop that I've been telling you about. It's the beginning of June and so they should be open by now. We searched yesterday and I'll show you some video of that search. We searched yesterday for many hours and couldn't find it. And I finally gave up and went to visit a friend, another Amish woman, who told me exactly where it was. Or she said at least go that way, towards that, around there, and right off the road near a tree that has a sign. Why didn't I think of that? So today we're going to go over and finish that. Let's take you around the cabin though. I have been doing some Amish shopping and yesterday on all of those travels I was able to stop and pick up a barn quilt for myself for the outside of the house. Um, I also, I did a little bit of flower shopping too, so do you want to see them? Let's go. I should also mention that I picked up a few wind chimes. I love this one. It has all my favorite critters. The moose, bear, deer, and of course my theme, the pine coin. So I love them. So we have these baskets. This is the barn quilt that I bought. I'm going to hang it right up here. I stopped at several Amish greenhouses and at this time of the year they are closing out, meaning they're trying to get rid of everything. 25 to 50 percent off. So I purchased these baskets for, don't hate me, $16 each. Ah. And though I don't get first pick of, of the big beautiful baskets, I, I find these just as appealing and just as beautiful as the $40 baskets or the $26 baskets. And look, <laughs> it's two in one. I have that beautiful line trailing off that basket. I couldn't want for more. This we picked up at New Era Nursery yesterday, and it's a snowball bush. We're going to plant it out front. We lost a dogwood, and I think that has something to do with the deer. I'm just saying. And so, if you're ready... Let's begin. See you. All right. Well, we just took a wrong turn. We're on our way to Amish country. We're going to go to that quilt shop I've been promising you. We thought we found a road that we'd never seen before, and by golly, we did, right? Right, LD? Oh, yes. So we turned on it, and uh, it looked good to start out with. It's quite beautiful here. Check this out. Check that view. But it was a dead end at that Amish, uh, or at that organic farm, I mean, and um, turned into a gravel road as well. So we're headed out, and we're going to get back on track. And But it is fun to find these new roads, uh, especially since we've been here for so many years and tout ourselves as knowing where we are. Clearly we don't. Ah, stay with us. Let's get over to those Amish farms. And we're hoping that this will take us right into Amish country. Uh, a different route than our normal, but sometimes you have to change it up a bit, right? So I think on this ridge, which way do we want to go? I think we want to go left, um, but we'll find out. Well, we're stopping here first before we go on to the quilt shops because I have it in my mind that I need a barn quilt. And I know this particular place had a bunch of them on the wall. So let's go on in and see if they have any left. Um, I'd be very interested. I see they have candy. <laughs> so 
So I'm choosing um, a barn quilt. This will go on our log cabin on the on the deck, on the front deck. And um, the prices are good. The extra large is 68. The large is 38. The medium is 28. And the small is 15. I'll show you the piece that we chose. This is called Hickory View Greenhouse over here. And this is the piece that we've chosen. What do you think? That must be a medium. I think it's medium. What about this one up on Hang. the top corner? Oh, geez. Top corner. Top that. Um, I like it, but I like the sharpness of this cut right yeah. here. Are you talking about this one right here? Yeah, we don't want to go too big, though, do we? That's a, well, I don't mind the size. I just, I don't, uh, here's a little saying, if you are angry, one minute, you lost 60 seconds of happiness. Ooh, yeah. Every time you throw mud at somebody, you're losing ground. Ooh, I had to come here to. Learn a lesson. Yeah, I kind of like that one, too. Oh, why are you making it hard for me, Larry? <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, my. Oh. Well, we can get a small one for... No. We don't overdo things. Nope, I'm back to this one. I really like this one. I think what I like about it is the use of all of this. Um, this looks like barn wood, right? Like, you know, I like the gray barn wood. And looks here like they maybe burnt a little bit of um, pine or something to put in it. I, I, I like this one. You guys can tell me what you think. Anybody remember this greenhouse <laughs> from the beginning about a month ago? Not even. Look what's happened here. Holy mackerel. All I'm looking for right now is a tomato plant. I don't think I'll find one here. That's okay.
protect you. Really? It won't bother you for long. Not for long. Okay. And it looks like the schoolyard is now being used to graze the horses and their newborns. These are some big plow horses here. That little guy is, huh, looks like he's brand new. Look at those legs. Oh my. I'm going to zoom in for you. scenic roads. It's idyllic.
and perhaps it's going where we're going. We're headed to a perennial garden right now because I haven't been able to find the new Amish quilt shop. That's and it may be that they haven't opened yet. They may have told us opening in June or July. Um, it's only the end of May, and so maybe maybe we're too soon, but we'll find out. I'm going to ask my friend at this next stop. Oh boy, this next place. Oh, look at the babies in that buggy, huh? Oh my goodness. We are right on top of this buggy. Typically I don't film them, but... Um, my faces. There's a hay wagon coming in already. Do you see it? 